got a big light at the end of the pier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, then you're up there. Good man, alright, see you then. Cheers. Alright, buddy. Anger Pier, fishing for mackerel. Okay, so far, <laughs> for many species especially, yes. Over a year, like number of species, it could be anything up to 30, 40 different types of species. Ross, so far, yeah, ras have started to appear now, and the mackerel are just starting to appear every weekend. <laughs> All over the country, <laughs> from Cork to Donegal, yeah, retired and do nothing but fish. Because um, we do a species hunt, we chase things all over the country. Yeah, she works in the Guillemot, in Bangor, in uh, Lee Delhi at the end of the pier. Daniel Finlay, I'm 27. Bangor, my whole life. Uh, after mackerel for bait. Uh, just mackerel tonight. Uh, hopefully sharks and conger eels. We're going to be going down to Cork and Kerry. To County Kerry, it's six and a half hour drive. Uh, to Cork, it's five and a half, about five days. Uh, it's average days, it's affordable. My grandfather got me into it. Uh, he used to be in a sea cat club in Belfast with shorts, so I used to go out on the boat with him, uh, catch cod and all, and then I just thought I wanted to try to get a hundred different types of species of fish in the sea. So I just now go everywhere doing it, every weekend, all year, in winter and all, rain here or snow. Favourite one? Um, my favourite one I've caught out of my hundred has been a uh, bluefin tuna. That was in Killy Beggs in Donegal. It was about 45 minute fight and the fish was 600 pounds. Lengthwise, 97 inches long. It's a big 40 foot camera. Yeah. It is owned by Adrian Malloy. It's called the Deep Blue. He does it all year. Well, he does a seasonal time for tuna there, which is the license with them. So. It'll start usually August when the tuna start showing. Usually before that the sharks will be on Donegal. Once the tuna come in, it's too much commotion for the sharks, so they'll move out. But the tuna will come in, feed there, and then they move out to the Atlantic. So it's the last place they're close to land before going back to the Mediterranean. Only two miles. Like uh, the tuna there have been spotted only 200 yards off the shore. And they've been spotted going into Tailand Harbour and Kelly Beggs Harbour. A small tuna is about two, three hundred pounds. Out there, there's fish. I think Adrian's biggest one's been over nine hundred pounds. <laughs> Basically, when you see a six hundred pound tuna, it's it's big. It can't go in your car.